सो हाय एवरीवन टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मेजर प्रॉब्लम्स दैट यू माइट बी फेसिंग वाइल यूजिंग एलएमस दैट इज हाउ टू स्ट्रक्चर द आउटपुट दैट यू गेट सो बेसिकली इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन व्हाट आर आउटपुट पार्सर्स दैट आर प्रोवाइड बाय लैंग चेन दैट हेल्प्स यू अचीव अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड आउटपुट फ्रॉम अ गिवन एलएम प्रेडिक्शन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्यूटोरियल आई विल डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ कस्टम आउटपुट पार्सर सो व्हिच कैन हैव अ फ्लेक्सिबल शेप लाइक यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट variety of structures that you wish to have and eventually you will be able to achieve it so this we would be doing using the pydentic output parser so we we would be providing the structure that we wish to have and then eventually uh, we will be able to get it from the predictions made by the lm so let's get started so first of all as you can see that you need to make the, the required imports including the pydentic output parser as you can see the most important one is the class that we are creating so basically i am creating a prompt where i want to provide a name of a city and the city's uh, name of a state and the city is present in that state right so the class that i would be providing for making for this output parser is name state and then i'm passing a base model that i'm importing from pydentic v1 as you can see now the interesting part is what the structure i wish to have is the name of the state and list of cities right so i don't want it to be like a dictionary or one i just want to have a list of cities so it's a custom format that i wish to have uh, so if i show you the output see this one state equals to karnataka city is equals to bangalore mysore hubli belgaum gulbarga the out last answer so this is the structure that i wish to have like a mix of list as well as string so string remains the name of the state and the list is the name of the city so how i am achieving it you need to create a uh, basic class passing the base model and then define the structure that you wish to have right and the description is also very important ki what does that field means right because eventually uh, an lm would be helping you to parse it out most probably in the end so the description of every field is also required as you can see i am given for state name of indian state cities indian cities in that state now using the pydentic output parser i am passing this particular state class as a parameter to the pydentic underscore object parameter and then creating the parser now parser is created second is we need to get a format instruction for this parser that we will be including in the prompt template so prompt template i've already explained in previous videos you can check that out parser dot get underscore format dot underscore instructions now the prompt template that i'm creating is answer the user questions as best as possible then this is a structure that i'm following format instructions question so format instruction is passed to the partial variables format instruction is basically the instruction that we are getting from the pydentic output parser right here in this particular line get format instructions that i'm passing as a variable to the partial variables and input variables is like similar to what we already discussed that variable that we wish to pass so this is the question that is the variable for us now rest of the things are quite easy i am creating a lm object the query is to the random indian state and pen down at some states i am getting i am formatting the prompt dot for a prom, uh, format the prompt question equals to query so i am filling the value for the input variable now i am passing the input dot to string uh, to the model directly right here no lang chain is coming for now we are not creating any chain object and all i have formatted the prompt and then eventually i'm passing it to the model directly and i'm getting an output so now comes the interesting part as you can see that print parser dot parse so parse object parser object is a pydentic output parser output we are passing now uh, at times what will happen is ki this this will yield you the answer that you wish to have but at times that not might be the case because eventually everything is on prediction levels everything is done by lms right so at times you might not be able to get the desired result so in that case that is i have applied a try except case now as you see now in try except case i am using object called as output fixing parser so take it as a magic parser which intakes an llm and it intakes a parser also and then intakes your input so eventually if your base parser fails like for example in this case assume that the base parser that we have created pydentic object fails out it is it throws an error ki i am not able to structure it out because again internally lms are getting followed so in that case it will use an llm alongside the parser that we have passed and create a new parser and then you will again call the new parser dot parse object for the output and most probably 
if you are using good quality llm here you would be getting the desired output as you can see here names state karnataka cities are bengaluru mysuru hubli belgaon kulbarga so output fixing parser can be taken as an ultimate solution right but it will lead to an uh, llm hit so do remember it might increase your cost and it does require a good quality llm because i've tried out with some smaller ones it didn't give me the desired result until unless if no error comes and if your structure is easy you don't need an output fixing parser your code should end here parser dot parse so you create a parentic object you pass the partial variable the format instructions and then you're calling the parser to parse the output that you've got if you are using if you are following a complex structure it might be the case a parser might fail in that case output fixing parser may come to your help